we're up here at Long Canyon. I mean, we're up here at the Green Mountain West Ridge Trailhead. About to do Green Mountain West Ridge. On a nice foggy day. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> yes. It's just such a nice trail, nice moderate terrain, and uh, nice and smooth today. The snow is so smooth. Feels great to be up here in the winter, and uh, yeah, it's sweet. So Green Mountain West Ridge is by far the easiest way to get up Boulder's Green Mountain. It's the one that starts out the highest. There's less vertical gain. Um, it's nice, moderate, shorter, but it's fun. You get to start up way high. Today we're up here in the clouds. There are numerous other ways, and I think they're all really good, really special in their own ways. Hi. I tried to give up and forget about you. But no matter how many times that I say that, I never Over the years, there have been reroutes on this trail. And just a couple years ago, there was a very significant reroute. And uh, the trail used to go up the ridge kind of on my left. And today, it goes and winds back and forth um, a lot longer and more gradual than it used to be. A lot, relatively. It's still a fairly short trail, all in all. And below me on the right is the Green Bear Trail, which takes you from Green Mountain to Bear Peak, and that's a great one. I think it's like a favorite for a lot of people. I always think of this spot right in here um, with my friend Allison. Her dog, Rue, I guess, got really scared by a wild turkey here one time. And after that, every time they'd come up here, it'd get all weird right around the spot. Kind of funny, old Rue. Such a good dog. <laughs> Getting into some really frosty trees now up here. Gets a little bit steeper, bigger steps, and more technical up here. Yeah, that's cool. 
Meg just ran into some people she knows. It's one of the fun things about being on the Boulder Trails a lot. There's all you always might run into someone you know. Gosh, this last part of the trail is so much more steep. So many more steps. That's really the only hard part though. I love it when that mist comes through. I want to see some more of that. Woo. It's also nice when it's all bright. So with the snow on the ground, the world is so bright. It's amazing. It's like everything just lights up and this winter we've had more snow on the ground for longer than any winter i remember in boulder i think and it's just been amazing i was taking it for granted not really thinking much of it but when you think about it how uh, a lot of years so much of this is not snowy it's, you know, dirt and grass throughout the winter. And uh, the world is a little bleaker that way. Um, it's not as bright. It doesn't come to life quite like this. So I'm really appreciating having the snow and how soft it is under my footsteps right now. I'm really gonna take advantage of this and savor this winter for everything it's offering. Because this trail has such easy access to Green Mountain, you do get a lot of people out here especially on the weekends. Actually, not that much on a weekday, but on a weekend you will. And, uh, but still not, it's not overwhelming. You know, it's just a few sprinkled here and there along the way. Hey there. Yeah, how are you? And uh, in the summer, it's probably a bit of a different story. I think it's hard to find parking up here and I wouldn't even try it on a weekend unless you're going right at sunrise or sunset. Then it'd be probably pretty doable. You get some nice tree variety on this trail. There's pines, there's firs. It's gotta be some, oh, it's a spruce sprinkled in there. And you get this drop off on the right side here. Pretty cool. Today it's nice and misty, quiet in the snow. A couple snowflakes coming down here and there, but mostly just this fog. So one summer I was up here I doing this hike and uh, Grapple was coming down, G-R-A-U-P-E-L. It's like hail but lighter and softer, smaller, little tiny small styrofoam balls. And it was just, you know, covering the ground. And Grapple 
at the same time, it was a lightning storm. And every lightning strike would just light up uh, the world because that grapple reflecting the lightning strikes. It was incredible. And there's not much you can really do. Um, you're below a tree line. And uh, so just kept hiking and uh, making our way out. It was an amazing, stimulating experience. And today is another amazing experience, an amazing stimulating experience with all the snow and the fog and the frost on the trees. Right behind you. I see Mega up ahead of me. We're coming back to the trailhead. Woo! Bike rack. That's where I park my bike. Hey. Woo! <sighs> How was it? Oh, it was good. It's so beautiful with the fog. We're just back out walking around to cool off a little bit, mostly because I was sweaty, but it, it just feels great to be out here. I mean, now I don't even want to go. I don't want to go inside. It's like a drug. <laughs> the best drug. <laughs> it's like a well, it's like we're on drugs out here. It really does feel good. And I feel a little bit of wet, wetness from that sweat kind of cooling me off. It's kind of a cool feeling though. It feels like um, icy hot or something. Ooh, it is a little chilly. <sighs> well, thanks for joining me on this little adventure on uh, Green Mountain West Ridge. I didn't even think I was gonna film this, but uh, it's fun to do this stuff. Hopefully uh, you get out on the trail, get outside sometime today, and uh, enjoy yourself. Peace. Woo! <laughs>